Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you my attempt of getting sample of lunar soil to Earth. I'm using my trustworthy golem rocket to get the gremlin upper stage to orbit. After extending the antenna, I plot the trajectory for the TLI burn. Separating from the second stage resulted in unplanned rotation, but firing up the engine allowed uh, to reorient the craft quite quickly. Besides that, the TLI went exactly as planned and the lander was put into the transfer orbit. Solar panels were extended and aligned towards the sun. The 11D33 engine was lit again to enter low lunar orbit. And once again to prepare for landing. Finally, it was lit for the last time, as it performed most of the landing burn. After the fuel was depleted, lander separated and began its power descent. was smooth and the probe gathered some samples of regolith. Some moments later the probe ignited its engines once more as it started its journey back to Earth. A journey with some extra steps as my design had a flaw and it ended up with less fuel than required. I thought that the mission is lost, but then I have realized that the first crewed lunar orbit mission is already preparing to launch. So the new objective of this mission became to rendezvous with the probe in orbit, get samples and bring them back to Earth. And here it is, the launch of the prototype Mage rocket. It has the capabilities of getting uh, 30 tons to LEO and it's the first rocket to use hydrogen as fuel for its upper stage. Second stage is powered by two super efficient NK9Vs and the third stage engines are Aralten's burning liquid hydrogen and oxygen. TLI burn was performed nominally and the capsule has detached from the booster. After arriving to Lunar SOI, I have plotted maneuver to make a direct rendezvous. I'm 
ignited to cancel the relative velocity between crude capsule and the probe. Rendezvous was the easy part. The more demanding challenge will be to get so close to the probe, so the Kerbal on a ladder will be able to get the samples. Why not to use EVA pack and just to fly a Kerbal there to get it, you might ask. And the answer is real simple. I have forgotten to pack them. Luckily, my plotting skills were good enough that the Matthias Schmidt, a mission scientist, could reach out to take the sample. of first crude lunar orbit, I had to stay there for 20 hours before burning back home. When I have plotted the maneuver, I have realized that my Delta V budget is smaller than I have planned. Fortunately, there was enough RCS fuel to finish the last 17 meters per second of the burn. wasn't the last promo of the mission, as I have separated the service module, another design flaw became obvious. Adapter section was directly attached to the heat shield and it couldn't be decoupled. I hope that the entry heating will burn through this part before causing major problem. And I was right, it exploded high in the air and the capsule has made a safe re-entry and landing. that would be all for today. Thank you everyone for watching, please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you again in my next video.